Dear colleagues and friends of classic Chinese medicine, welcome to the second Scandinavian TCM Congress here in Denmark. This year's Congress topic is classic Chinese medicine, emotions, spirituality, and alchemy. We want to offer you a Congress that inspires you on many levels. First, on a professional level, joining lectures and workshops, networking across borders, getting insights into research. Second, this Congress has elements as emotion, spirituality, and alchemy within our field of medicine. We hope to cultivate your inner healer. Third, the word reflection comes to my mind. Reflection on where we are with our medicine, within the whole field of medicine. How do we see ourselves both professional and personal? Take a step further into the land of Chinese medicine, where we can work with emotions and where spirituality is a part of a bigger picture. And let us see what alchemy is from the experience of our teacher's knowledge. It's a great pleasure to be able to stand here before you today and pre present so many fantastic and golden teachers whom we have extra had an eye on for this topic and this Congress. Now we can talk about a tradition, and that is what we have hoped for from the beginning. Because this TCM Congress is no less than a gold mine for the practitioners in Scandinavian and all over. We are all here in the name of Chinese medicine. We can learn a lot of a vast number of lecturers. We get together with so many colleagues. We can discuss, exchange experiences, reflect and get inspired. My topic on Sunday has a title, Why do I feel like this? The hidden shame and guilt affecting your emotion and spiritual aspects. And it is in regard to sexual abuse. And why do I want to talk about that? Is due to the patients that come to you and they feel that you do give them something to free them for, from their imprisoned position. And I want to, on behalf of them, because I interviewed quite many of them before I came here, to ask how, how do you feel about your shame and guilt? I mean, what has, how has that affected you? And they give me a lot of answers. And I said, what would you like me to, to share with my colleagues? Well, just share what you've done to me. They always answer, just, just tell me what you're doing. Because we are so happy that somebody's talking about us and maybe more people can get more knowledge and help us. And it is a special group, the one suffering from sexual abuse. It's only the last decades the threshold talking about it has lowered. And we have so much more knowledge of how they suffer. And despite the story, despite the stories, there are common feelings they all suffer from. And that is guilt and shame. And some of them, they don't even know they've been sexually abused until they become quite grown up or in, in adult life. Because this guilt, or sh uh, guilt and shame imprison them so hardly. It gives them so much emotion that is tied up just in order to escape from the terrible feeling of the shame. Unfortunately, some of them detach themselves from emotion totally and they end up to be shameless. So I started uh, over 30 years ago. I was in the first class of the first school in the US. And um, um, the teacher of that, the primary teacher of that school were two, uh, Dr. So and Ted Kapchuk. And um, Dr. So would not have known then to call himself a classical practitioner because in 1976, the TCM books, there were no books yet, the TCM books that were coming from China that said Chinese medicine is this patterns of disharmony and zongfu theory, 
That was not what was the light was focused on yet.